Yeah, so we, we worked on this for many years. So I, I think it's, it's more than what we think. We really have strong evidence of what's going on. And if anyone wants to look this up in detail, we published it in the journal Cell. Yeah, what we found was that the sirtuin called number one, sirt sir one, is really important for sensing exercise, not just in the muscle, we've known that for many years, but also in the lining of the blood vessels within that muscle. And when, when you exercise, you have a protein called VEGF that tells blood vessels to grow. We all know that if you lift weights, and especially if you run, you'll get more blood flow in your muscle. It's also true for the brain, by the way, and loss of blood flow in the brain is a large cause of dementia, of which we have nothing to, to treat, really, um, to, certainly not to grow blood vessels safely. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we found was happening in the, in the mice was that the NMN was tricking the cell into thinking it was exercise, and it was now responding to those, uh, those signals from the muscle and building new blood vessels, even in the absence of exercise. And what was happening in those old mice was that their, their blood vessels were basically just not getting the right signals so that they lost blood flow, which is a major cause of morbidity in, in the body and disease. And it was shocking to me that nobody had figured this out before because it's so important. And so through a lot of experiments where we made mice that had more CERT1 in their blood vessels or knocked it out so they had less and showed that those mice were either fitter or less fit, um, and doing that in the context of NMN, we are pretty sure that what's happening is that those cells, uh, when in a normal mouse, what would happen is you run, you have low oxygen, the blood vessels get the signal to build more blood vessels over the next uh, week or so, and we could mimic that with NMN. And the good news is that if we combined NMN with exercise, it made the mice even fitter. They could go through, go through endurance, they could run on the treadmill, for up to twice as long as their uh, untreated counterparts. But the, the message here is it's not sufficient to just pop a pill, probably, uh, but it's also not an excuse just to sit around and pop a pill, that getting off the chair, running a bit, uh, will, will be the, the best combination based on those mouse studies. And um, so the, the disease that we'd like to treat is called Friedrich's ataxia, which uh, patients suffer from low energy, um, and I think low blood flow, and we'd like to use NMN as a, a way to, not NMN, but a, but a molecule like NMN that's, we think, even better than NMN that um, will help those patients. But ultimately, if we can get a drug on the market, then doctors can try it in clinical trials. And, and it's probably going to be a very safe molecule, so it can be tested on a variety of things. You know, I'm, I'm sure if we ever get there, um, athletes might try this as well, but that's a, that's a whole different story.